Well, I don't see anything in there. I'm just gonna pretend that there isn't anything. Oh right, and I have all of these guys that I gotta deal, or all of this that I gotta deal with. Look, I haven't played this game in a week. Give me a second to catch back up to where I was brain-wise. We were working on making, oh, I remember. This is gonna be like a weird cut in the middle of the video and then I'm gonna be kind of confused because I have to, no, I'm not making the encased fans. I'm making the mechanical crafters. We need electron tubes, which requires rose quartz. Rose quartz requires, uh, Crafting, which requires nether dust, or uh, nether quartz and redstone dust. Redstone dust is easy, easily enough, because uh, that's just crushed iron ore or dust, which is good. It's the nether quartz. This was the weird stinky one. We needed soul sand, or crushed gold ore, which I can only crush with a crusher, which we cannot make until we've a yeah, very chicken in the egg at the moment. Okay, so do we actually already have this? No, I don't think we've we've washed any dust at this moment. So I should probably get to work on that. I'm going to have to scale a bunch of these things up. I There's the dust. There we go. Yeah, so many of these systems are going to need uh oh. What happened to my water here? Did I get rid of it? Oh. It was the I was making the soul sand. We have the mob souls though. Okay, good. So I don't have to I don't have to worry about running out, though I'm definitely gonna want to make sure that I have a couple of uh soul flames sitting around just in case. Otherwise I'm going to have uh bad limes. Uh I know I can do like shift and toss, but it's so much more fun to just toss them all uh in sequence. You know, get that real like slightly pukey action going on. There it is. Give me this stuff. Skystone dust and other associated bits and bobs. Oh. I didn't actually really verify if I actually have inventory space for this. I had some bone meal, but, um... It's probably some stuff still here? No? Really? Wow. What did I pick up then? Did it all turn into coal? And some quartz dust. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, it didn't work as well as I was hoping it would. We should clear out my inventory a little bit before I go on to the next stage. I think we're going to need to scale this up and make a whole bunch of dust. <sighs> yeah, I don't really see an easier way of doing it. Oh, right. This is to... Ooh, boy. <laughs> I have so much to do. Where the heck did all of my nether sand go anyway? Or soul sand? <laughs> oh, there it is. Good. Soul soil, soul sand. I don't know why I put it there. Okay, so just to be careful, I have made six soul campfires. So I never have to go through this process again. Unless I have to. I could always goof it, but... Bleh, please, just give me the nether quartz I need. I only need a little. Come on, come on, come on. I see nether quartz. I see four, in fact. It's a 10% chance, so it's not like it was that unlucky. Uh, we also got some glowstone dust, and did we get anything else? I think there was supposed to be a gold nugget that I could potentially get, too. Next order of, bi order of business is getting the redstone dust. Oh, wait, shoot. Don't I need, like, a shit ton of this stuff? I do, don't I? <laughs> oh, no. Well, there's the enrichment center. Oh, no, that still requires the rose quartz. Rose quartz seems to be only really craftable with nether quartz. I think, um, oh, once I can just crush dire, wait, how do I get diorite? Once I can crush gold ore. I think that should solve my problems. M maybe. Unless, wait, to get gold ore, I need to make okrum? Where... Oh, gosh, yeah, I'm just going to be stuck on this for a little while because what is even? Oh, it's sandpaper polishing. Seriously? <laughs> I, this feels like a really wild uh, series of events because, yeah, this requires molten quartz. Oh, wait, no, no, molten quartz is not something I can just do. Elven Quartz and an Earth Charge. Yeah, that doesn't strike me as something that I have access to either. Is there anything else? There's a cutting board with blocks of quartz. Not that in it. 
I think we need to actually deal with some chickens. Like, I could get the crusher down, but I think we need to go to chicken town. It strikes me as the easiest and best possible option here, apart from spending an inordinate amount of time and resources to generate a whole bunch of soul sand. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, no, that's that's like no resources at all. That's no effort. What am I what am I saying? Why am I shirking shirking responsibilities now of all times? The main question is, is there a way that I can take a compressed piece of uh let's just check Compressed stone, automated packing, just compresses it further. Shaped crafting, cra crafting, hammering, and we could get some gold ore. Seriously? Is there no auto... Ah. Iron auto hammer. Automatically crushes materials down using the hammer based on the tier of the hammer. Diamond and the netherite. What do I need for this thing? Oh, hey, would you look at that? This actually looks like something I could make. And wouldn't even take that much time either. Okay, so super conveniently, I have pretty much all of this I could possibly need. Did I get rid of my glass? That's the one other question. No, we got glass. Okay, cool. I apparently gotten a bunch of raw gold from a uh, one of my random washings, which... Okay, yeah, that sounds a little salacious when I <laughs> put it that way. Uh, ooh, sacrificial knife. Just a prick of the finger will su suffice. I, some of these are kind of interesting, and I'm curious to see what they can do, but namely, we want this thing. We only really need one for now, but we're probably going to want to scale up and get a bunch. We might also need to dramatically increase the, the number of these things that we've got rolling, because they're kind of slow. Okay, I'm just going to put it here. It looks like we're going to need another shaft. Have I gotten rid of all of my shafts? Yeah, I got rid of all of my spare stuff. I'm going to need more shafts just in general. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Huh. I don't think this does what I think it does. It had a... It had a dongly bit. But I don't think this connects to my machine. How the heck does the iron auto hammer even work? Precious materials down using the hammer, based on the tier of the hammer. What? Okay, I think I have a vague idea of how this is supposed to work, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, nope, 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 nope. How do I, how do I undo? Okay, I just punch it a bunch. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to need more pipes than this. I'm just going to pick it back up again. I was kind of hoping that would work because the next order of business is a little harder. Not, like, overwhelmingly so, but next up, I guess we're going to do item? No. Pipe? Pipe. Okay, so we just want a basic item pipe. Problem is I'm going to need some red redstone dust. Redstone dust, uh, I'm going to need... Oh, wait, no, crushed iron ore is kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm going to need dust. Dust requires sand. Sand, we have a quantity of. Good. Slight, uh, slight pain. Okay, I was hoping this would be a little easier to lay out. Because, yeah, what we want to do is just stack all of this together. I'm a damn fool. Whatever, it's too late now. I was going to compress it all. <laughs> or I should have just compressed it all, but it's fine. It's fine. Pretty soon this will be a non-issue and I will never have to think about or do this generally ever again. Boop. There. Now we've got all the dust we could ever need. Hopefully, it pays out. Fine. There's a control click. There it is. I could just puke it all out, but we should wait. And this should give me some redstone dust. Unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, I should really hook the rest of this together. Can I actually? No. There's probably a way to sync them. Dang, that's... Oh, there it is. I was like, that's... That sure is taking a while, ain't it? And the answer was... Yeah, it was. Okay, let's just put away everything that we don't currently need. Which is... We just need to hold on to the redstone dust. I should only need, like, a handful of this stuff. And then once it's automated, I never have to think about it again. Some pipes. Okay, so we just need droppers. We only need two. More than that, I'm actually going to screw myself over. Item pipes... Perfect. 
And I still have enough to make another 16 if and when I need to. For now, hopefully this thing does not require a power setup. Yeah, okay, that ain't working. What we probably need is a drawer, maybe to move stuff. I was hoping that would they would just hook together, but maybe maybe it doesn't work. Or maybe I need like actual power. It looks like it's supposed to be going, but I don't know. Boy, I am completely spoiled by the create uh, little guide bits. I think I might want to actually expand this room. So why don't we do that real quick before I go further. Otherwise, I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to be slapping on a wall destined for destruction anyway. And that seems kind of wasteful. Aha! I got it. It actually was like a thousand times easier than I thought it would be. Uh, namely, apparently, all I needed to do was actually just have a hopper. <laughs> uh, and to rotate the thing. Turns out red is output, blue is input. So it's it's pulling out of this chest, crushing it, and then outputting it into... Well, supposedly it's outputting into this hopper. It actually doesn't seem to be doing that, which, frankly, might be fine. So I'm not even really sure if I want it to come out that hopper anyway. Instead, I'm going to try and do this. I might need to configure this thing. It's another one of those stupid sticks. Yeah. Of course, there was a way I could delete them. So I don't seem to be able to... I don't seem to be able to mess with these either. My poor inventory is full again, ain't it? Uh, it's close. Not quite there. So I'm going to put that there. I have no idea how to remove. But at least we know that the iron auto hammer is working and does not require power. The only immediate fig uh, issue is figuring out how to remove the uh, the bits. It looks like it requires a different type of item pipe. Like, pipes actually looks bad. Does this have the classic item pipe methodology that I used to use? Mm. Doesn't look like it. Because, yeah, what I was hoping I could do was use a different type of pipe to move it around. One that didn't require nearly as much... messing around. Uh, let me try, like, filter? Uh-uh. We have the filter filter module, but I don't think that's it. And then there's this. I mean, it kind of works. Oh, we just need the pipe wrench, which requires a brass rod. Oh. There's got to be a better way of doing this. Oh, that's interesting. It, um... I mean, it's working. We have a couple of options. We've got the crazy town option of... I could always try and clear my inventory out. Uh... Now let's go do that real quick. Clear my inventory out, break it, and see if I can move it up by, like, a tile or two. Because maybe if I move it around uh, and shift it a, a bit, we can actually get access to the, gra to the gravel. Because if I hit it, I get all the gravel back. This is unsurprising. Alright. Snag all this stuff. Inventory is full again. But I'm, I'm going to move this whole cobble gen up by one. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the cobblestone. We have infinite amounts, so there's not really much of a reason not to just chuck our supply. Okay. T 
toss this down. Once again, it's rotated wrong. Rotate it slightly differently. I'm going to try just putting the pipe down correctly. No, it doesn't seem to be transferring to this. Unless, of course... There it is. Is it? No. I just put away all of my stacks of gravel. That's not helpful. Alright. Attempt number two. Put a hopper with a chest. Hopper doesn't seem to be pulling from this thing. Which is actually a bit of a surprise. I was trying to look stuff up for this uh, specific mod pack and it was not. Like there was no information on how to get this uh, iron auto hammer to work. So I guess the next order of business is to figure out how to make brass. Well, I do need a smeltery set up and I do have the space for it. I just might have to break this thing occasionally to uh, get it running again. Which is, yeah, worse things have happened. But it's still inconvenient. Oh good, we can make plenty of grout. I needed this for seared bricks, and so I might as well make two full stacks. And then, can I even fit this in my inventory? Sick. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of sand, clay, and otherwise to rely on, plus plenty of grout which I can now cook. Get rid of the gold, cook the grout. Okay, that'll get us seared bricks of plenty so we can actually start working on a proper smeltery. I've been delaying it a little bit because it's kind of a nuisance, but now that I need it, it's like, well, all right, I guess we're here. Uh, let's see, what could I, what else could I possibly need? Just to take a look at this quest blog, the new solicitor sign. Um, I suppose. So what else do we have? So that's getting started. Exploration is uh, later, possibly never. I'm really lazy about that sort of thing. Inscriber press, controller, black hole tanks. This is good storage, from what I remember. Yeah, I remember the grid, crafting grid. This, this was great. The only media problem is it requires a bunch of stuff that's... Silicon, quartz enriched, iron, yeah, this is going to require some stuff that I, I don't want to mess with for the time being. I set out on this journey to do other things, and here we are. Uh, let's see, compact machines, a tesseract, entangled block, a mining gadget, building gadget, time in a pouch, temporal pouch, home but balanced, hearthstone, huh. Ender obelisk, pipes, make a pipe, make a pipe upgrade. So this is something what I probably want to mess around with. There's also fluid pipes and terminals, which is interesting. Mega torch. It's not that out of reach. That's actually kind of useful. Well, except for the fact that, you know, if I need any mobs, I'm going to need them elsewhere. So the other thing would be a laser drill, budding crystals, but mostly we need chicken. Chicken catcher can turn mobs. Okay. Oh, the issue is, where do we get eggs or feathers? An alchemy table. Huh. And then there's severing. I don't suppose there's a weird weird way to just conjure feathers out of the ether, is there? <laughs> How the heck am I supposed to make chickens? Craftable chickens. These chickens, wait, craft, craftable chickens. These chickens can be crafted directly. How? Cactus green chicken. Nope. Still don't know how to get egg. How do I just get the most basic chicken? I don't want a tin chicken. I just want a chicken chicken. I just want a chicken that, that just arrives. I don't want to cook chicken. I just want a chicken. I mean, if I check his zinc chicken, let's just start at the top. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Nothing but confusion. 
used on chicken mobs to turn them into items. I mean, that's unsurprising. It's just, how do we get chicken mobs to show up? Unless we just have to hope for the what the hell? Jelly baby. Mob spawning. Entity spawner. Pacifist. Observe delightful dirt. Oh! Delightful dirt spawns most passive mobs, from chickens to cows to other friendly mo mobs. So we need delightful dirt. Okay, delightful dirt. Information, yes. Spawns, okay. Does not work in ocean biomes. Creates a 5x5 five five area of delightful dirt used on grass. Fed nutritious chicken feed to a chicken. Damn it. <laughs> Where do I get a chicken from? Okay. I really got to stop saying that. Somebody, somebody called me out saying I say okay too much, which is actually very true. It is one of my, uh, it's a filler word and a bad one at that. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta train myself not to use it as much as I do. It's hard. But if I do this, well, we can also make the casting basin. We can make a bunch of things that we kind of need if I want to go down this route. So I guess we might as well get that started. There's the seared bricks, but I think I'm going to start with just the most basic. Do we start with the most basic? I have no idea. Fuel tank, ingot tank. Uh, what we want is just the smelter. Nothing fancy. Place above a tank or a heater to fuel. Perfect. So, I already have a seared heater. I'm going to... I'm going to grab a tank, too. And... Oh, I forget how to connect some of these things. Oh, that's fine. That's what the tutorial is for, right? Because we got puny smelting. So casting requires a seared faucet. There's the seared faucet. Okay, and then we need a cast, which is going to, I mean, is easy enough, but I got to get the rest of this set up. And then there's the actual smeltery, which is a multi-block thing, melts metals, combines them, makes alloys. We're going to need this if I want to make uh, brass. Whoops, and I can also chuck my book on the ground. All right. Well, I've got the chainmail leggings. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to throw them away. No matter what it is, I don't actually need it that bad. Like, I could smelt it down, but why? Unsurprisingly, the actual setup for this is incredibly easy. Put one there. Put one there. All right. So, we've got the melter. We've got our tank. Tank requires some uh, something to burn. Lava works. I, uh, did I get rid of my lava? I don't even remember if I can do infinite lava. Uh, let's see. I do have this thing. And I'm going to need my buckets. Do I have my buckets here? No, I got a bucket of water there. Where did I put all my other buckets? They have a weird tendency of just wandering off where I'll, I'll stow them somewhere else. Wait, hold up. Can I just make lava really easily here? Time to find out. Because if I remember right, there was, uh... It might not be valid in this setup. However, I'm going to hope, against hope, that this old method works. Because it's so easy. Ah, uh, it does not. I was, I was hoping. Because, yeah, you used to be able to just toss a, uh, a bit of cobblestone and a cauldron over a torch. It would take forever to get some lava, but it would get you some lava. Uh, here's the next question. Wait, where, where's my bucket? Where is my bucket? Where do I put them? Probably here. There, there it is. I should find, like, a good lava crafting spot. 
I don't really have a good one. Can I make lava with this thing? Maybe. I don't know. One way or another. I guess I'll just set fire to this. There we go. There's our lava. Which, you gotta wonder. Okay, question. Can I just refuel with this? Or does it have to be regular stone? It does have to be regular stone. That's an interesting foible. I mean, it's easy enough to get more. There we go. Yeah, so we've got the smelter. We've got that bit done. Let's see. If I go back to this, I think we can melt three different things. If I want to do brass, if I want to do a brass rod, I'm going to need a, uh, a brass rod. We're just going to need molten brass plus a rod gold cast. Oh, this, all this just to move some items around. Well, no, you know what? I'm going to need the brass for a lot of other things too. So really we need the cast. Oh, well the cast is incredibly easy. Because gold rod, brass rod, stone rod, plastic, blaze rod, treated stick, or just a stick. So I just need to toss some gold in here. I don't have any gold at the moment, but that's a really easy to wake it. Uh, oh, hey. Uh, do we wanna do we wanna bet that works? I'm willing to take that bet, and let me try and move some of my machinery stuff back just so I have some inventory space. We'll put away the heater and the cauldron for the time being, as I need neither of them. Okay, place the stick in there. Go back to this. I don't know how much I'm going to actually need to fill this thing up. We'll try one one at a time, just so I don't overdo it. I think I think we only needed one. Okay. So now we need bronze. Molten or not bronze, brass. Molten brass is shift. Yeah. Uh, how do I make molten brass though? Okay, zinc and copper. One ing ingot apiece. Then put more in this by accident. Okay. Please tell me I got some copper. Copper. And, oh, we got a bunch of clay balls sitting around there too. Nickel, zinc. Okay. Luckily, zinc is actually pretty easy to come by via grinding. But I don't have too much of it at the moment. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I have a bunch of zinc ingots. Okay. I only need two of these. Not enough free space for the fluid. Oh. Fine. I didn't really expect I'd be able to do an alloy with this. I was hoping. But it looks like we're actually going to have to do this the slightly obnoxious way. Hopefully that's all of it. Oh, it needs a little bit more. Enough? No, we need one more. Unless I put it in my backpack. I gotta be better about not putting these away. Nope, that's andesite. It's all the other stuff that I should put away. Never my backpacks. Yeah, I've got a second one. It has even l more space for me to jam full of junk. Where is my zinc? Zinc ingots. Cool. I'm just going to make a block of zinc. It's the easiest way to free up the zinc that I've got. Because otherwise it's just going to be kind of perpetually stuck there. Um, and I don't really want it to be stuck. 
There it is. Plus also zinc block. Kind of cool looking. <laughs> uh, how do we do fluid mixing? Probably by making the actual smeltery. Oh, cast. I guess my... Wait, 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 wait. But I can just pick this up. Yoink. There we go. Well, we've got casting done. And I got bacon for it. Ugh. Okay, so it looks like I've got to actually make a smeltery. Multi-block that mel melts metals and combines molten metals into alloys. Shape is much more freeform than the melter. See mighty smelting for guide on how to build it. Some molten metals mix. Creating alloys. Only happens if you have fuel. So, cool. I just have to remember what this thing looks like. And probably also bucket out all of my lava. Yeah, I don't have enough. Hopefully when I destroy this thing, it doesn't just spread lava out. Oh, actually, it just remains partially filled. That's even better. Unfortunately, the process has changed kind of dramatically since I last played this, which is mostly fine. But if I want to actually build anything, I'm going to make a smeltery controller, which means I need seared bricks and molten copper poured onto it, which is... It's a changed base. It's a weird one. It honestly makes sense. The old system used to be a little faster. This is a little bit more methodical. For better or worse, actually, in retrospect. I'll make six. I don't want to do too many of these because I'm not sure how many I need. Oh, wait. I completed a task. That means there's got to be something under one of these. Not storage. Not immersive engineering. Though there is the kiln, which could also work if I wanted to combine metals into alloys. If I wanted to make brass. Where the heck is the seared brick? Not thermal series, though that is something I'd like to get into. Unless it's specifically just saying that I've completed these parts. What do I need for this? Oh, that's easy. Oh, but I'm going to need an ingot cast. Shoot. Um. Well, I'll start with the obvious. Okay, so we have the smeltery controller. I guess it doesn't really matter which form this takes. I'm just going to fill it in, though. I'll just have to make a, a block for the time being. Luckily, the block can be split without being burnt. Okay, we just need one more. It can be split without being smelted down again. And then admittedly probably smelted down again, but whatever. We might want to actually skip the step, go for the alloy kiln. This is my my fear. Unless that's what the drain is supposed to be for. But my eternal fear is that I'm always going to have a little bit left over. If I break it, does it just go away? Please tell me yes. I think so. It doesn't seem to show anything left. Yes. Okay, cool. Not the most ideal, but at least it's an option. Uh yeah, why don't we why don't we actually look into a kiln first? Alloy kiln. Immersive engineering. I think we just... Sandstone and bricks. Well, bricks are easy. Brick is just cooked clay balls. What about sandstone, though? Damn it. I just want to see sandstone. Sandstone is... Oh, just sand. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay, this thing is just still going. Uh, no, it actually looks like it's hit its upper limit. That's fine. It's still a lot. It's a lot of stuff. My inventory remains full. I'm just going to put a number of these things away until I can get the rest of it. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to end up with like a goofy amount of blocks. Oh, right. How the heck do we make an ingot ingot cast? You can get gold cast. Oh. I need bricks. Ain't that handy. 
I've converted all of my bricks over. No, it's fine. I've got tons of clay balls. Move that one there. We'll make uh, 47 bricks. That should be enough. For, like, everything I will possibly ever need bricks for. I'll keep the iron out. Bacon. I'm not going to use the bacon just in case there's some really odd edge case use for it that I don't know about. You never know. It's probably nothing. But it could be something. Okay, so this way we can put the brick down, and all we need is one of these casts. And that's all we will ever need. And does it... Yeah, it does get rid of the brick. Oh, well, it's fine. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm... I am going to put that down. Let's get the... Uh, let's get the couple of copper... ingots that we need. Because I think we only need two. To make the next step of this journey. I'm going to make both concurrently. Uh, I think both are actually going to be just as fine. Okay. We have 180 now. Or maybe that was it. Okay. Four ingots. Weird. Not that weird, but slightly weird. Next step, rudimentary test. Is it eight of these? Or do I need nine? I might need nine to build this thing. Okay, so, how many have I put down? Or how many more do I need? I need four, eight, I need 17 more. Okay, that's, yeah, that's a little expensive. I mean, luckily, res resources in this mod pack are infinite. It's just how much effort do I want to go through? Probably only need... Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to need more than this. I'm going to need exactly 18. Okay, how's our bricks looking? It's slow. I'm just going to take half of this, speed this along. Take the seared bricks, take the glass. Do I have the glass stored away in here? No, but I might as well. So I guess actually take some of the seared bricks back while we're waiting. Why don't we make the seared shoot, the seared drain. Fluid input and output versus, I don't know what the difference between the shoot and the drain is. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, that's funny. Apparently, oh, that's how you get the book, The Mighty Smelting. It was like, refer to the mighty, uh, refer to mighty smelting for guide on how to build it. The answer is, you earn mighty smelting by making the core components. That makes a lot more sense. Earlier, I was just like, how the heck am I ever supposed to build this thing? Okay, so we made the kiln bricks. Yeah, I overcomplicated this. There we go. There's our al alloy kiln. So it takes two uh, fuel plus two random metals, and we'll turn it into a alloyed brick. So if I want to get those zinc... Uh, do I seriously not have any... Whoops. I really got to be careful about what I'm using. Yeah, I don't think we have any zinc sitting around in here, which is a bit of a shame. I've got lots of raw copper and silver and a bunch of other things. Niter. Isn't that like for explosives? Probably. How do I get zinc again? Because I'm going to run out if I'm just too limited. So blocks of raw zinc, that doesn't help. Milling. Gravel. Oh. Of course. And crushing gravel. So the real answer is just... Got to get my milling set, set up back up again. I mean, could be worse. I've got plenty of gravel. Where's my gears? Where's my shafts? Okay, cool. Hmm... Oh, that ain't gonna work. 
There we go. Okay, perfect. This is never going to be the cleanest setup, but at least we have it. Now, I do actually have just some loose gravel, yeah? Perfect, two stacks. The hell is this? Blacker Lotus. Oh, for Batania. Huh. Okay. So that should solve our zinc problems that we technically don't have because I do have a whole stack of... a couple stacks of zinc sitting around, but... still would prefer to have more always. Put in the copper ingots, and I need fuel. Did I? Yeah, that's all my flint. I guess I'll just kind of keep passing around my coal. At some point, I'll have a cleaner set up. I should probably open this hall up at some point. Okay. Let's hope this works. Because if this works and we get two brass ingots, then I can pop them over to the other one and make the rods. Oh, we actually end up with more than I thought. Well, that's fine. Okay, pop them over, melt them down, make the rod, and then we can finally make the pipe so I can auto, uh... Oh, we might end up with, like, a gazillion rods here. I didn't actually think that these would have such a small footprint. Oh, you know what? Whatever. More rods the merrier. So, if I go back to... If I go back to pipes, we need the pipe wrench. Pipe wrench is just two flints and then the brass rods. We are on our way. I should probably get rid of the lotus. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put it here for the time being, just in terms of like strange oddities. I'll have to probably rethink. I'll have to rethink that because it's probably a terrible spot. But, I mean, there are no good spots. Okay, so we've completed the quest for pipes. Please tell me. Why not? Oh. 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 I broke it. I had it, and then I broke it. And I am lost as heck. Okay, it's pulling it out. Yes! Okay, so we had to configure it so this would go into this. Now I just gotta make a couple more auto hammers, but at least now we have uh, we have gravel storage. Uh, well, I guess the next order of business would be to upgrade this entire thing. Probably maybe move this up, kind of loop some things around. Because what we want to do is effectively chain this like five times. At least it doesn't have a power requirement and it is so fast. Uh, what is going on? Well, whatever that is, I don't know. Okay, so can I take... Check the auto hammer. I can upgrade it. But it's going to require a quantity of redstone dust that I might not have available to me. I have, I think, just enough redstone dust. To make, like, one more of these. Yeah, it's going to be faster if I just make another. Okay, this is slightly out of control. I'm actually super down for it, but I was not expecting uh, I was not expecting this to be quite as aggressive as it is. Okay, cool. So it looks like we just kind of have to zigzag a bunch. I'll probably want to move this machinery later, but for now I'm perfectly fine. I'm perfectly fine without. Okay, let's uh can I just have a basic drawer? I could. 
I probably should, considering this is up to 506, and I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get more. Uh, let's see, what do I need for a drawer? I think I just need wood, yeah? Let's make three chests. I believe you just surround them, yeah? Perfect. Three drawers should be enough. Because it'll... This one's going to hold... If I do this... Okay. Pop it out. Cool. Where are my pipes? I keep putting them away. I keep putting everything away. As needed. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like I cannot I cannot have a pipe on top of this thing. Unless No. Okay. Did not work. It was worth a shot. I was hoping I could do that for a slightly denser setup, but no dice. Yeah, this is kind of ugly. Maybe, maybe I, maybe I should pick this up and just move it out one. Because we can just have it extend this direction. Look, I will just take any opportunity I can to extend, extend my base out. I need this space and... I appreciate having more more wiggle room to play around with. Let's just make sure I don't accidentally destroy my pristine design. Not that it's particularly hard to recover. Okay, we've done three, so we want to do one, two, three, four. There we go. And assuming I did this correctly, I can clean up and move this around as desired. I'm just going to put away some of this stuff for a while. Because <sighs> otherwise I'm just going to end up with an infinite amount of cobblestone in my inventory and that's crummy. Okay, we can do one more. There we go. Okay, and then this, and then at some point I will beautify this area. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'll probably just have like wooden pillars or something and better lighting, but for now this is fine. Oh, gosh, I goofed it. Would you actually believe this is the first time I've goofed my entire setup? There we go. I was being over exuberant. Forgot to measure. Cool. So what I'm going to do is just move this out by one. Uh, by destroying everything. Oh. Maybe that still just has all of it. I certainly hope so. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna toss all the cobblestone in the trash. We have an infinite amount, so why should I ever... ever... ever try and save the amount that I've got? Well, let's just make sure I don't accidentally toss my auto hammers in, because boy, that would make me sad. That would make everybody sad. Mostly me. I think the easiest way for me to do this, just going forward, is literally just to extend it in a line. It's not the most space efficient, but at the same time, having just kind of a nice little area where I can just be like, oh, I could use some gravel today. Oh, I could use some of this. The one immediate problem is I could potentially end up just having an infinite amount of dust. So I might want to look into filters or something to kind of slow it down. But I'm kind of just hoping it'll backfill at some point. I don't know what the maximum storage on a drawer is. 
Uh, but maybe we'll hit it. Either that or we actually just um, make upper tiers of this. So another cobble generator with kind of a line that stops short a bunch of times. So it might actually end up being kind of tall. Or maybe we have multiple lines or who knows. But at least for now, this is an easy way for me to get... Well, dirt. I don't really need dirt. So there's still some steps to go on this one. However, we now have... Where did my pickaxe go? Gosh darn it. Do I keep just yeeting these into the void? I do. It's not great. <laughs> my organization is abysmal. However, I can break this, grab this, break you, grab your bits. Okay, so I made a couple of diamond ones. Not enough. I think this one needs to get turned around. There we go. And then same deal on this one. But they should be able to just chew through an absolute an absolute inordinate amount of stone or cobblestone to make gravel, then dirt. And then I've got two more of these. I you know what? Let's just um let's just go for broke. Max them out. I have the resources. Uh I'll do them I'll do two gold at a time though. Elsewise, we might uh, we might run out of redstone before then, but I think I think I'll be fine. Nope, that's the iron auto hammer, golden auto hammer, and I probably am still going to look into. Oh no, we have to stop early. I'm short on diamonds. How do we get diamonds? Crushing diamond ore. Well, that's not helpful. And washing gravel. Oh. Okay, I mean that's surprisingly doable. Let's just set this. Uh, let's set this one up, and then I'll go wash some gravel. All right, and I need pipes. Another drawer. Pipe. Drawer. And then we need the wrench. Is a thousand things, but now we've got sand and. If I have an empty hand, I can just get a whole stack of this. Wash it, get the diamonds we need, and then we have all of the auto hammers we'll ever need. And then at some point, we'll probably tear up the whole thing because we have a more efficient system. I'm just mostly interested in, in getting the basics of automation going so that I don't have to constantly go and grab this stuff myself. Right. This water power... <laughs> <laughs> this is not nearly enough. It's fine for now, but who boy. It is a slow process, which means we're going to need to look into alternative fuel sources that are much more aggressive. Let's see, is that everything? I think it is. Well, that's a bunch of lapis lazuli. Emeralds, and there's our diamonds. And also iron nuggets and flint. Yeah, I'm going to have to clear this thing out. And then also like cinnabar. What do you do with cinnabar? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Wish I knew. We'll figure it out later. For now, this is enough that we can finish off. Right. We need the diamond hammer. Diamond auto hammer. And we're good. I was on this entire business to make crushers, and we've we have gone elsewhere entirely. Honestly, though, can't complain. I, I kind of like the adventure of, oh, you know, if I need this, then I need this. And to get this, I'm going to need this. And it's like 30 different steps before you finally get there. But when you do, pretty satisfying. Oh, there we go. Because, yeah, this is starting to stack up. I think we're good. I don't know where I'm at in this process, and I'm going to have to wait for a while. But I think I've played enough Minecraft for today. <laughs> Who knows where this is going to be in an episode. But at least I've got automation going.